Hey guys, this is Jay Kapoor here back again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root your Xiaomi Redmi 2 easily, safely and without any data loss. So let's start this tutorial. So if you want to flash a custom ROM, you need root access and a custom recovery. So in this video, we will also flash CWM recovery. What you need is a working PC running Windows and a USB cable and of course the Xiaomi Redmi 2 and you have to download three little files one is the update super su you have to download me flash and you have to download recovery.img which is of 10 mb so download it so all the three files link will be in the video description below so first of all we have to install the me flash program into the pc so just double click on that and click on next and it will start installing so it will be installed in less than 5 minutes. So after it's installed you will get this type of dialog. Click on finish. So now copy that recovery.img that we have downloaded. So right click on that and click on copy. And go to my computer. And search for the C drive where windows is installed. Go to the program files folder which is program files if you are running a 64 bit windows it will be a program file x64 if you are running a 32 bit computer so it will be program files just plain program files so if you see a program files x86 folder go into that if you don't see any program files x86 x64 folder just go to the plain program files and find the xiaomi folder under uh, xiaomi folder you will find me phone click on that you will find google click on that you will find android click on that now paste the recovery.img here so just connect your phone into the pc via the fast boot mode to do this to boot the phone into the fast boot mode what you have to do is to first switch off your device and then once your device is switched off press the volume down plus power button at the same time for 3 seconds and then you will see a me bunny doing something with android now you are successfully in the fast boot mode now just connect your phone via the usb cable to the computer and after that press shift key on your keyboard and right click on the empty space in the folder in the same folder and you will see an option called open command window here keep holding the shift key and left click on that and it will open the command window now type fast boot devices to check that the phone is connected or not if you see a device with some number then the phone is connected if you can't see any device then the phone is not properly connected now type this command fast boot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img you can copy paste the command from the video description there just copy and paste and hit enter now the recovery is successfully flashed it may take 5 seconds to flash once it's flashed uh, disconnect your phone now after the recovery is flashed now after the recovery is flashed disconnect the phone from the computer remove the battery of the phone insert it again power on the device once it's powered on copy the update super su file that you downloaded to the internal memory of the phone just copy and open the internal memory and paste it once it's pasted reboot the phone into the recovery mode to do this first power off your device and once it's powered off press volume up plus power button at the same time you will see a bunch of list click on recovery and now you are in CWM recovery you can navigate in this recovery via the volume keys volume up for going up volume down for going down and power button to confirm the selection so we have to go to the option called install zip just swipe uh, down and swipe right to go and once more swipe right and once more you will see zero legacy obb swipe right 
and now find the file update super su swipe right on that and click on yes and it will flash the update super su once it's flashed go back and click on reboot system now and it will say root access probably lost click on fix root and now your phone is rooted successfully i know guys this is not the easiest way to root the phone but currently this is the one and only working way to root the phone and install cwm recovery and if i find any easier ways i will post this on my channel so make sure to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and the unrooting tutorial and move how to move apps and games to memory card is also coming so make sure to hit the red subscribe button and click the like button if you appreciate my work and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i will try to answer it so that's it for now thanks for watching this is jay kapoor signing off